All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and take a look at the leaderboard um, once again. So sorry, not the leaderboard, the standings. My bad. Uh, so Kamir Crew, this is where we were entering the series. Kamir Crew has uh, 14 wins now. Commando Delta uh, would be down to fifth place instead of being fourth place um, with Outcast playing now. Uh, they would stay. Their their positions would be uh, maintained uh, if uh, Outcast were to get swept. Only if that happened, and then so would ha that that would be the only way that that would that everything would stay the same. Um, so. Uh, and then the same thing with hacks. They would only retain their position. Uh, actually, they would take the lead, excuse me, because they would have the win percentage advantage. Um, so that's how we are uh, set up now. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the map ban. First, Outcast bans Hotel. Then you have hacks banning. Is that right? Do they? Okay, yep, they banned Embassy. Sorry, I just wanted to double check that. Uh, and then now they have picked Terror House. So, first game will be on Terror House. Get that one set up for you right now. Right, so there you have. Uh, <laughs> there is hacks right there. Uh, <laughs> here we go. I don't know why it's uh, skipping, but it's not. It's it's smooth on our end for some reason. Uh, that's how OBS is just taking it frame by frame. But uh, there is the crew there along with their uh, coaching team. Uh, here is. Outcasts, they are setting themselves up there. Yep. And joining us here in this game is... There we go. I think... Uh... Oops, sorry, one second. We do have... Both... Okay, both sides are ready now. All right, let's go ahead and get it going. We have here, it is uh, FS Jr., that's Sanchez, the Jomo, Jambo, Dak... The Rectal Ranger. There is your team hacks. For outcasts, it is sweaty, celestial, gaff cat, wolfy, and fly like an eagle. That will make up outcasts. Use the planning table to find the bomb. That last time, uh, had Outcast had played Commando Delta, they got swept, but they were missing a lot of their main players too. Um, so it's it's another situation too where just the whole stats don't tell everything. When you look at the way that Outcast is set up, these players and the bomb. they can be a challenge for hacks. Not necessarily. You can't just look at it and go, "Well, hacks swept Commando Delta." Outcast got swept by Commando Delta, so Hax is easily going to win this one. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Gavcap is playing the site with Fly Like an Eagle. The Joma will take out the 90 camera. Axe is the second best team 
uh, on this map with a 60% win record for Outcast. Outcast, they are at, uh, I think that was 40, yeah, 41% of their games. They've 41% they, uh, of their rounds have been won on this map. And what we've seen hacks do is this thing where they set up, then push in together. A well-coordinated attack. And now you might say, well, what's the point if it's on separate entries? Well, with all the gunfire and confusion going on, no one can back up the other side. I mean, there is some order in the chaos of attacking all at once. Oh, and Jambo has such a good angle to get Celestial, who is so focused in that window. And Fly Like an Eagle gets Sanchez all the way from main office to 90. And uh, Jambo, how is that even possible, that shot? That was a long way away. Smoke out. Rectal Ranger will get sweaty. It is 4v2. Now, we, uh, I wanted to say, we've seen Fly Like an Eagle make that long nade throw throughout his entire time in the IEL, both from back in season one as oh, backing up. That nade is actually well out of range of Gap Cap. Wolfie will get Jambo with that Mac 10 and get Dak. Rectal Ranger will now push through with the information and Wolfie will take him out as well. Somebody stop him and Jobo does. Oh my goodness. Wolfie just took on the entire team. Gavcat, lone defender, will go to the back corner just in front of the bathroom. Jomo getting the notification that there's 30 seconds now. will have to aggressively push. Playing too carefully. 10 seconds to get the kill, 10 seconds to get the defuse. And Gavcat will stop it all from happening. With that sawed off, Outcast gets the lead early. 1-0. Wolfie with three kills. Gavcap with that last kill there in the end. Jambo with two, Jomo and Rectal Ranger with one. And your damage dealers are going to be Wolfie and Jambo. Third floor drawing room for Outcast. Gavcap is going to be on the roof placing that door trap. Deploying in 10 seconds. Fly like an eagle wants the doors broken. And so Sweaty will be covering the first floor. Locate and defuse the bomb. We see some teams they do that. They cover the first floor push through the distribution room. Going up against a team like Hacks, I would expect Sweaty to retreat early. Oh, he's going to go right for the window. And ready. Oh, Jambo gets taken out as Ranger will come up to support. Flashing out. Sweaty's already in the distribution room. That flash will not affect him. Ranger is clearing through first floor. Sweaty has prepped a C4. He's got six health, so he's got to make it quick. He hears the distribution room windows, footsteps, and the breakage, and Sanchez will get Sweaty. 4v4.
Gap Cap has not moved from the stairs. He's been covering the top mainly, peeking down low now. UDC out in play for Sanchez Jr. to see if they spot somebody on it. They're not going to see Gap Cap from there. And yeah, Gap Cap's going to try to get. Or maybe it was Hacks that shot it out. I think it was. Dak will take point. Gap Cap sitting to the left there. He might get flat. No, he runs away to avoid getting flashed. Coming through and Zach. And Zach is locked in on Gap Cap, who's down to 58 health. Gets taken out by Rectal Ranger. Now coming up the stairs is... Oh, everybody. Okay, so this is Sanchez, Dak, Ranger, only Jomo, who's been focused there on the repel, is going to give intel. Eagle will throw the C4 and actually got Dak! I didn't realize that he pushed in! Sanchez will now repel off the drawing room side. This is like, I like this, this, this attack here by Hacks. I call it a little bit of an old school thing because that's what people were originally doing. Just only one guy in the repel and everyone else pushes in. Oh! Wow! How did Eagle make that happen? Getting Jomo as well. It's just Ranger left. Holy! <laughs> and Eagle will get Rectal Ranger! I don't even, I think that might've even been accidental. He was probably just trying, because we've seen Eagle do these like taps sometimes on 90. That's, uh, just impressive. Fly like an eagle with five kills. Wolfie with three. Jambo and Rectal Ranger have two each. Yeah, e Eagle does these like little once in a while pop shots to the 90 when Use the planning table to find the bomb. We don't know also if the, I didn't see if there was a sticky cam, but he just does, but we've seen him do those little shots before. And they haven't really resulted in a kill until now. That's the first time I think I've seen him do that in league play. Deploying He's probably done that a lot seconds. in his regular gameplay. Locate and defuse the bomb. Oh! Ranger took some shots almost immediately after spawning in. Play will continue. As Sweaty gets Sanchez. And Ranger will push through to get Outcasts. I get sweaty, excuse me. Yeah, Ranger didn't just take out the whole team with the shield at once. <laughs> just <laughs> We just heard the, the long rant from one of the defenders. Uh, I love the shouts in this game. It's evened up 4v4. Ranger now has equipped himself with the Valkyrie. And Jomo will get taken out by Celestial. Dak! Through the window will get Gav Cap. We're seeing these trades, your guy for my guy. And the count's still even, 3v3. Jambo. Coming up the stairs with the shotgun. Rangers set up outside. Dak will be the balcony man this time. Ranger, Jambo, push in. 
Wolfie gets Zach on the rappel. Now they know where Wolfie is. Celestial will get Ranger. It's just Jambo now. Jambo will fire around and hit air. Wolfie's waiting for the push in. Jambo pushes through. Wolfie is missing his opportunity to get Jambo. A fly like an eagle will get Jambo with the nade. Outcasts win all three of their defenses. Fly like an eagle with six kills. Really holding his ground. I mean, that's what he does when he's on defense, but now we're on the attacking side. Use the planning table to find the bomb. Third floor, main office. Deploying in ten seconds. That'll be the first spawn for hacks. Locate and defuse the bomb. Jambo takes out Wolfie early. Oh, what a gnarly angle there. But Celestial will try to go ahead and see if he can peek out there to get some information for his team as Sanchez Jr. gets Gavcap. Throwing a nade in doesn't get anybody. And Sweaty getting Sanchez with the nade. It is 3v4. <laughs> Celestial getting Jambo on the first floor, evening it up 3v3. The oh, well, Ranger is he can retreat to the site, but he's playing in the stairs, so he's not really on site. He's trying to challenge those guys in the first floor. Oh, can't do anything with that shield. Information by Sweaty will be enough to probably get while well, like an eagle and celestial to rotate around. Ranger will try to take care of that shield on his own. He probably should retreat and rejoin his team on the floor. Use the choke point of the, of the door, but instead we'll try to challenge them all out in the stairs. He's going all the way up past the objective level. This is not, this is so tight a situation for him to be in. Ranger's gonna try to see if he can get a free kill down below, but that shield is gonna go between him and the objective if he doesn't come back down. Oh no! Yep, now he's in a tight spot. Oh, we got a challenge, Sweaty! He does! He gets him with the shield break. And Ranger will get Celestial as well. Eagle coming to the top of the train. Don't question Ranger, man. He just took on the entire outcast in the stairs. Six kills for Ranger, seven for Fly Like an Eagle. Use the planning table to find the bomb. I 
I don't know how in 10 Ranger has pulled that off. Locate and defuse the bomb. But that was incredible. Outcast on the attack. Sorry about that. Celestial will open a top there, watching him. Oh, that's Ranger who avoids the flash. We'll come back up and take out Celestial. That is another flash. Oh shoot, I should have swapped over. We don't see a thing, but Gap Cap gets Sanchez and Fly Like an Eagle will get Jambo. The result is now 4v3. Jumma will come down the stairs from the top with Ranger in the stairs. Jumma wants a piece of the action that Ranger had last last round. <laughs> As Gap Cap is pushing upstairs, Ranger has more trouble on the rooftop. Times two. As Eagle comes up as well. Picking up the shield. Jumma will take out Gap Cap down below. Ranger will try to fight at the stairs, thinking there's only one, probably missing the other one. He'll go and fight again and get sweaty again! Fly like an eagle will get Ranger back! 2v2, well, now 2v1 as Wolfie gets Jomo. Eagle and Wolfie both in the stairs. Dak holding an open angle through to the main stairs. Dak comes out to get Fly Like an Eagle. Wolfie will now push in with the information and trade with Dak. And that will still result in a win for Hex with all of Outcast eliminated. Three, two, Outcast. Final defense for Hex in this game. Nine kills for Fly Like an Eagle. Eight kills for Ranger. Both of them have been... Have providing uh been providing us highlights in this game. I, I <laughs> my mind is still blown about the shield break Ranger got, and then he did it again. Use the planning table to find the bomb. In this round that just ended, I. I <laughs> All right, Hax is gonna go second floor master bedroom, looking to tie the game. There's ever a time that uh, I wanted to do like a post game interview, it would be right now and just ask Ranger what kind of deodorant he uses to figure out what keeps him from sweating so much to staying calm under pressure. Because I, uh, that, that was, these had a couple of mind blowing moments. Just playing this game, but especially that one. Oh, 
we'll be coming up. We'll get Sanchez from the window. Max is playing three on site. Ranger gets taken out of the stairs by Gap Cap's shotgun, and Celestial will take out Dak. It is now 5v2. Jambo and Jomo on site. Both of them have negative KDR so far, but we have enough of a history with them to know they have the ability to pull this off. Wouldn't necessarily call it smooth sailing for Outcast. It's Jambo who set up the C4 gets Gap Cap. Gap Cap has been something else for Outcast as well. So that's a big take out there as Jomo gets sweaty and Jambo will get Celestial. It's 2v2. Oh, Eagle has a nice nade and he does get Jambo with that nade. That was something magical. I I, I just, what? Talking, uh, talk about threading the needle with that. Holy. C2 out, and Jumbo doesn't care. He's just, he's he knows where he's got to hold. Now he's going to peek out. That's why like an eagle he's exchanging with. Jumbo's down to 46 health, pushing through his Wolfie. Opening up the door. Jumbo, so focused on the left, gets pushed by Fly Like an Eagle on the right. Fly Like an Eagle will get the defuse, and Outcasts will be one away from winning this game. The bomb has been defused. Fly Like an Eagle goes into double digit kills. Last person we saw do that today was Techno. Third floor, main office. Deploying in ten seconds. Locate and defuse the bomb. Yeah, Hax has not won an attack yet and in, in this game, and I think we're just seeing them trying to coordinate. They're still doing that. We, we've seen them do this every time where they set up, they, they, everyone gets up, and they only push together after the setup. Wow, Sanchez just got sweaty in there. Good catch. Probably just saved the life of Ranger right there. And nobody on Hax took damage. Sweaty been, has been having a rough time against uh, this Hacks team. And oh, he's just dropped out of the match, actually. I was just about to say, I think he's been getting uh, killed every time. And twice by Ranger uh, shield breaking him. I it, There's... Out of shield break attempts, there's got to be less than half a percent of successful shield breaks. There you go. Sweaty is back. 
Jambo will push in and get Celestial. Giving up the point man position. Let's see who that is. Oh, that's Ranger. Ranger is now the point man. Coming in through 90. Don't be fooled by the zero hour HUD. It is 5v3 right now. Sweaty reconnected. Twilight and Eagle is nading. Oh, that's a good nade. Wolfie will get Jambo and Dak gets Wolfie. Another nade. Is anyone out there? No, Ranger's pushing in. Oh, Gap Cap gets him on the push. Retreating into the bathroom. The problem with that sawed off shotgun is you only get two rounds in there. So you have to be able to mentally know where you can retreat to as Sanchez gets fly like an eagle. It is 3v1. Sanchez will make the push. Gap Cap misses the first shot and the second shot. Sanchez getting the kill, nading the bathroom. Nobody is there. And Sanchez will start the defuse. Hacks. Closing the gap. Four, three, outcasts. The bomb has been defused. Ranger has been awfully quiet the last two rounds after shaking things up, but Sanchez has stepped up in to the ring here, getting that fuse now. And we're seeing Hacks close this lead that Outcast has. Use the planning table to find the bomb. Hacks getting their first attack round win of this game. Would like to get two more. Third floor main office. Celestial will wedge the small office. Locate and defuse the bomb. Only Sanchez spawned at the main office. It seems like it went one, two, two for the hack spawn. All of outcasts want to play the objective level. Is no one? Play yeah, I don't think anyone's playing off site. Now they're all on the same floor as the objective. Dak will take out Sweaty through the window. Jomo is just going to keep firing in to not so much, I don't think, get a kill so much as just trying to see who fires back to just confirm the number of people that are in that room. That's what I think some of these shots are, really. I think they're just to kind of get information out. C2 charge going on the door. Watch this blast through. See that C4 right above the door frame. Where Celestial is looking. Fly Like an Eagle is going back to his spot where he likes to fire in on 90. C4 going out. Long run. He gets Jambo. Ranger has moved into the short room. 
And that's what protects him from the C4. Eagle doesn't realize he got a kill there. If he held it, he would have stopped probably the, the push from Ranger. Ranger thinks somebody might be behind the table. Sanchez is holding a nice angle here. They, they, Hax is a good good control of this floor, considering where everyone is at. There's a couple of blind spots for Outcast right now. And that's allowed Hacks to push through. Eagles are shooting all the way to the bathroom. Wolfie will get wrecked for Ranger. And then late on Sanchez. Sanchez, uh, who got Wolfie Gap Cap, will get Sanchez. 3v2. Retreating in. Dak on the swing against Celestial. Two v two. Thirty seconds remaining. Oh, Gap Cap gets Dak pushing in. Jomo now comes in, gets Gap Cap, and Eagle hiding back to pops up to get Jomo, catching him by surprise, and that locks in the win for Outcasts in game one. Eight kills for Rectal Ranger, thirteen kills for Fly Like an Eagle, nine for Wolfie. What a show.